All right, let's get this thing turned around. And let's head up to the dirt pile. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a couple tests. We're gonna do the cleaning portion of it. We're gonna push up on this crossbar right here, which is gonna pick up all the other bars. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to pick it up on camera too well, but you guys can kind of see it like rotating back right there. Okay, that works great. Hopefully I didn't build this thing too tall. Let's go ahead and do a dump test. We're gonna go over here. Get a little scoop of dirt. Okay. Back it on up. Come on over. Luckily the 299 goes pretty high. Uh, I think we're gonna be okay. Realistically, I probably could have built it maybe six inches shorter, but I think we're gonna be fine. Let's go ahead and dump and see how it actually screens. The first scoop through the new screen. Oh, beautiful. All right, so you guys see, we already have one rock there wedged in the center. And that's why the self-cleaning part of this is so cool because eventually rocks will just keep building up, building up, building up, and it'll slow down the efficiency of your screen. So once it starts to get real bad, you're gonna go ahead and lift that up and it'll clean it up. But what you wanna do before you actually lift this up is clean all the dirt out that's here already because when you lift up those bars, it may let the rocks fall through. So we're gonna go ahead and back up a little bit. Well, uh, let me do a quick little shake. Oh, I still got some more dirt. I had a lot more dirt. Okay, let's go ahead and back it on up. Oh, and that rock disappeared. So I'm gonna go ahead and run like 10 scoops through this thing and uh, kind of just get a feel for it and then we'll probably wrap this video up. All right, so screen is working super good. 